Welcome, XFL fans. How many of you guys watched the Vegas Vipers and DC Defenders yesterday? And how about the play at, just before halftime where Louis Perez got a touchdown? It was a touchdown. As simple as that. But even if they took the touchdown away and gave him the ball on the one-yard line, they probably had at least 10 seconds left or should have, to try for another touchdown. But to just take the touchdown away just doesn't seem right. But it's not just me, how I'm feeling. How are you guys feeling about that? I don't care for that. I think the officials have been pretty hard on the Vegas Vipers, as far as I'm concerned. But I don't, I'm not the only one who thinks so. I have a little clip from Rod Woodson, the coach of the Vegas Vipers here, that I'm just going to play real quick. He was a heck of a player, quick, uh, can make you miss in space. Uh, hope he, you know, when you're in this wet weather like this, you got to keep your feet under your body. You know, we got to find a way to get our seven stud cleats, which we still don't have. We're waiting for three weeks, four weeks now. They said uh, we're going to be getting seven stud cleats. We still don't have seven stud cleats. So uh, at the end of the day, though, you know, we shot ourselves in the foot. Um, I shouldn't have played. Uh, you know, Huntley, who didn't practice all week, uh, that's, that's, that's my fault. I gave him that opportunity to show me otherwise. Um, that shot us in the foot. We dug ourselves in a hole, and we dug a little bit more. And defensively, uh, we're better than what we've been showing. Got to stop the run. Can't give up 170 yards rushing and think you're going to win. So, uh, you know, that's been a downside. But to answer the question, St. Q's an excellent little slot receiver, can make big plays. Uh, this, hopefully he'll keep us feet next time. Coach, what did the refs say to you going into the press time after that touchdown? They overturned it. I don't know what they saw. I know when I looked at the monitor, it looked like his leg was up. You know, anything outside of your, I mean, your, his elbow has to be down for the ball to be down. It seemed like his elbow was down to me after he had to, was on the white line with the other ball with the ball across the front part of the line. It's crazy. Um, you know, we've been getting bugged, you know, we've been getting bit by the, the refs, and I've been telling the guys, hey, we got to play the refs. Uh, they, they're not our friends. They haven't been our friends all year. I don't think they're going to be our friends the rest of the year after me complaining so much. I'm probably the only person that's going to complain to them because I think they need to do their job and do it the right way unbiasedly if I complain or not. 